So I showed you how to move to Australia with visa sponsorship jobs, how to move to Australia for free, where you're sponsored by an employer in Australia. I've talked about the different kinds of work visas. There are so many of them. I've talked about how to move down to Australia as a permanent resident. Like there's so many pathways on how to move to Australia I've talked about on my channel. And there's a full playlist for everything Australia. So much content in there, so much value. And in this video, I want to talk about something different, right? This is another pathway to Australia and it's by far the easiest, right? This is a study route. Study route is the easiest way to migrate all around the world. Any country you want to go to, study is the easiest route, yeah? So I want to talk about how to move down to Australia for study. Yeah, so studying in Australia is quite expensive. You're going to be paying school fees of an average of $20,000. That is for like a master's program yeah so in this video i want to show you how you can actually school in australia for free you don't need to pay that tuition fees a heavy tuition fees you know in australia you can actually do it for free and that is what this video is all about yeah so stick with me in this video i'm going to show you all the details how you can pack up move down to australia to study free of charge and now this is for undergraduate and graduate programs so if you want to do a bsc you want to do a master's or a phd this video is for you <laughs> If you're just meeting, my name is Jackie and you're welcome to my channel. Do subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you know every time I share a new video. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back. Check out my second channel, Jackie Finance, if you're interested in content about how to make money online and be financially independent. All right, so let's get into the good news for today, right? So this is Australia Awards Scholarship, right? This is a scholarship from the Australian government and it's here towards international students. So if you want to, you know, want to study in Australia, yeah, and you're an international student, you can take advantage of this Australia Awards Scholarship. And now this is really urgent. Like you need to apply for this as soon as possible. It's currently open and it's going to be closing in a few days. So you need to jump on this like right now. So let me show you a little bit about what this scholarship is about and what it covers. And then I'm going to be telling you about the countries that are eligible to apply for this scholarship. And um, I'm going to also take you through how to apply as well. Every information you need about this, you're going to be finding it in this video. All right. All right, so the Australia Awards Scholarship are long-term awards administered by the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. They aim to contribute to the development needs of Australia's partner countries in line with bilateral and regional agreements. They provide opportunities for people from developing countries, particularly those countries located in the Indo-Pacific region, to undertake full-time undergraduate or postgraduate study by at participating Australian universities and technical and further education institutions. All right, so let's see the benefits of this. So what are you going to get on this scholarship? So they're going to be paying your full tuition fees, full tuition fees, and they're also going to provide a return flight ticket for you. So they're going to be taking you, you know, from whichever country you're from, down to Australia and back to your country. And then establishment allowance, a once-only payment as a contribution towards accommodation expenses, textbooks, and study materials, yeah? And then contribution to living expenses, introductory academic program, a compulsory program prior to the commencement of formal academic studies, covering information on living and studying in Australia. And it's also going to cover overseas student health cover. So it's going to cover, you know, health, medical costs, basically. And then pre-course English fees, if deemed necessary. PSC may be available for students for in-country and or in Australia training. And then supplementary academic support may be available to ensure a scholar's academic success or enhance their academic experience. And then it's also going to cover field work. 
All right. So this scholarship is not without conditions. So there are two conditions for this. And the first one is that applicants who want to accept an Australia Award Scholarship will need to sign a contract with the Commonwealth of Australia, declaring that they will comply with the conditions of the scholarship. That is number one. And the second one is that scholars are required to leave Australia for a minimum of two years after completing your scholarship. So after completing your scholarship, you go back to your country for two years and then you can return to Australia. All right. And if you fail to leave, right, they say that you you have to pay the total cost of the scholarship. So after study, you say, OK, I want to stay back in Australia. I don't want to go back to my country. Then you just, you know, refund what was spent for the scholarship. OK, so how to apply. So there's information on how to apply here. I'm going to show you that, you know, shortly. But before that, let me show you the participating countries, okay? Which country can apply for this scholarship? Because it's obviously not every nation in the world that can apply for this. It's select countries. So let me quickly show you the countries, right? So you can know if your country is among them. So the participating countries, right? So we have countries um, in Asia. We have Bangladesh, countries like Maldives, Mongolia, Nepal, Pakistan, Philippines, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, and Pacific countries as well. And then we have countries in the Middle East, Palestinian territories, and we have countries in Africa. So let's see the countries in Africa that they've listed. So we have Algeria. Botswana, DRC, Egypt, Ethiopia, Gabon, Ghana, Kenya, Liberia, Madagascar, Malawi, Mauritius, Morocco, Mozambique, Namibia, Nigeria, Rwanda, Senegal, Sierra Leone, South Africa, Sudan, Tanzania, the Gambia, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. So if you're from any of these countries, good news, you're eligible to apply for this scholarship. So there's um, something here for Africa information for Australia Awards intake. So there's information here for the participating countries. So you can download this. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. So you can go check it out and see all these PDFs here. Okay, so now we've seen the participating countries. Let's see, um, okay, let's go back here. So they have contacts, yeah? They have contacts, in-country contacts for some of these countries. You can just send them an email. So let's see um, the closing, opening and closing dates, yeah? So this opened on the 1st of February of 2023 and it closes on the 1st of May. You know, so it just some days left. So you need to like apply for this as soon as possible. So if you're from Africa, all the countries in Africa, yeah, I guess, you send your, this is the email address for inquiries, right? So this is the contact for African countries. And the closing date for African countries is the 1st of May. And I think every other region, yeah, it all closes on the 1st of May here. Yeah. So this is something you need to like take action immediately. Okay. All right. So let's see how to apply. Or before then, yeah, let's see the participating institutions. Yeah. What schools in Australia are part of these awards? So there's a, there's a PDF here to download to see all the institutions that are on this program. Like I said, the link is going to be in the description, so you can just go through them. So this is what it looks like. You know, we have Australian Catholic University, Aviation Australia, Bond University. You know, there are a lot of them. So you can go through this list and then look for programs that you can study. All right, so how to apply? How do you apply for this scholarship, okay? So before you apply, you check the opening and closing dates for your country. We've done that. See the participating countries. We've done that. If you intend to apply, you must read the Australia Awards Scholarships Policy Handbook. So you click on that and the handbook will open up and then you can read it. It's also a PDF so you can, you know, open it up and read. And then after doing that, 
Okay, the handbook provides information including general eligibility requirements, the selection process, entitlements, responsibilities, like everything you need to know about, you know, the this scholarship. You're going to find it in this policy handbook. So it's very important to go through the policy handbook. If we have a minute, I could go through it and just show you the kind of information in there. Okay. And then some countries encourage and allow you to apply online while others require hard copy applications. See your countries, see your participating country profile for more information. I'm interested in this. Let me open it so we can look at it. All right, so if your country allows you to apply online, this is how it's done. You refer to your relevant participating country profile for the link to the application portal, and then you go ahead and apply, right? So if you're applying by mail, let's say your country is not among those that receive online applications, then this is how it's going to be done. You will um, complete a hard copy application. Okay, you're going to obtain this hard copy application form and any other templates such as referee reports from the from the participating country profile so you go to your country profile and download the hard copy application form so you fill it up and then you submit it with your supporting documents the details for where to submit it is going to be in your country profile so what are the supporting documents for this Everything is in your is in the country profile. So I think we just let's just go look at this country profile so you know what's up. Okay, and then there's a referee report template. You're gonna download that. It's part of the supporting documents that you're going to, you know, um submit with your hard copy application. Okay, so now let's choose one country to work with. Let's just choose one country to work with and see what the profile is like. Okay, so um, let's just go through this one. Okay, let's just see, you know, these extra details that we need to know. So the priority fields of study are climate change, agriculture and food security, mining and energy, foreign policy and international security. And then level of study, Australia Awards Scholarship provides citizens of eligible African countries with the opportunity to obtain a master's degree at an Australian tertiary institution. Awards will be offered for commencement in 2024. All right. So these are, this is a list of what you're going to be getting. I think I've read this already. And then let's look more about the eligibility criteria. So you're from a country that is listed here. And then you also need to hold an undergraduate degree. For Africa, it's just master's degree, you know, that is available for this scholarship. So you have to hold an undergraduate degree to apply for this. There are some other countries where, you know, this scholarship is available for undergraduates. Online applications are accepted for African countries. So if you're in Africa, you can send in online applications. All right. Okay. So let's look at one more thing. Let's look at um, frequently asked questions. What can I study? Study programs must relate to your country's priority areas of development. So we've seen the priority areas for Africa. And then what can I study? You can study, you know, areas related to flying aircraft, nuclear technology, or military training. And where can I study? Participating Australian institutions, like I showed earlier. And um, can I apply for both an Australia Award Scholarship and a Destination Australia Scholarship? You may apply for other scholarships. However, recipients of Australia Award Scholarships cannot hold any other Australian government scholarship at the same time. So you need to choose one, but you can apply for several and then, you know, you can only accept one. Can I apply for an award if I'm intending to migrate or if I have permanent residency and the answer is no. Remember at the end of your study you need to return to your country for two years and then come back to Australia. So this is not like a permanent move to Australia, right? So it's just for you to get your foot in Australia and just, you know, stand a great chance of getting jobs in the future in Australia. 
Okay, so that's that for the information I'm going to show you in this video. So you can click the link to see more about this. And the link is going to be in the description box below. Um, okay, so I hope this is useful to you. And um, do share this opportunity with others as well so they can take advantage of this. And do give the video a like. That is a thumbs up, you know, to just show support that you appreciate the work that I do here. And subscribe to the channel so you can be seeing more videos like this. My name is Jackie and I will see you in my next video.